Okay. <laughs> did it, did it. Who? Dan Dopo. You. Let's go. Ow, wow. Yes. Listen right now. Everybody knows the man that says wow. To start the show, gonna talk some toys. Okay. This is for the grown up girls and boys. Making noise. Let's start the show. Okay. Talking Marvel Legends and the money that we blow. Honestly, look, there ain't no stopping me. Turtles and Joes too, let's do this properly. Need to buy more toys, don't tell my bank. Wasn't me, promise it was Hellfire Hank. Whole who crew, look, they made me do it. If it lands in my door, then I best review it. Screw it. I don't usually boast, but I got rich M, he's here to host. Raise a toast and raise some ducks. This isn't your average show with deluxe. Pow! And welcome back again to the channel, Dan, who reviews as always. My name is Dan Do we make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who, and we may have a few technical difficulties. So we've already done half an hour of this show, but I've put it for the channel members only. So if you want to see the first half an hour of the show, it's now a channel member only exclusive. This will be the main feed on the channel uh, because we didn't even get to the main topic. So, of course, let me start again. On Monday, there is going to be a fan stream from Marvel Legends. Where is it? It's over here. On Monday, there is going to be a brand new Marvel Legends live stream where we can make our educated guess that they are going to reveal what the summer program is as around about this time last year. And that's exactly what they did. Where They revealed all 10 of the Marvel 60th anniversary items. Oh, no, the Beyond Earth's Mightiest items. So we can assume... It could be something similar to that, okay? So we are going to dive into all of the potential reveals that will be happening on Monday. So stay with us right now on the stream for the speculation. But you know I can't do it on my own. It is, of course, Rich M again. Rich! How, hey! How, how are you doing? I'm sorry about that, Rich. I'm so sorry, Rich. I'm so embarrassed. It's, I hate when my internet it, goes wrong. Because we're so correct with these projections. That was Hasbro shutting us down, Dan. They were like, no, no, you're not doing it. You can't do it. Brandon, That's why. Because we're so was, accurate. Brandon was in at the start of the stream, and I think he's started to get a bit nervous so he's been making phone calls and yeah he, he, he got a shut down he got a shut down. we're always one step ahead of hasbro look the boo win in hand see that's why they try to shut us down rich that's why they try to shut us down they didn't want us to show it but now you made us show it you you forced our hand for trying to shut us down anyway pretend you didn't see that people all right pretend you didn't see that all right uh of course. Okay, so if you want to see the first half an hour where we basically just shouted out Toy Fair, went for a little bit of the Marvel Legend news, but we didn't get to any of the actual speculation. Uh, I did really quickly show off that I have got the Falcon Cap. Again, shout out Jared and, and Craig for helping me get this from Germany to Ireland and then to me because it is not available in the UK. I know it's very frustrating, but for whatever reason, it's not coming to the UK. But I've still got one for review. Uh, it's the same as the old one. So... But it's got the wings, all right? So I've got a full review comparison tomorrow. So check the channel out for the review tomorrow of Falcon Cap. And it does look good. He needed his wings, didn't he? Let's be honest. He needed his wings. So uh, there's that. Uh, we also talked about the re-release of Kingpin. Kingpin is getting a re-release. Uh, but again, only in the US. So Falcon's not coming to the UK. And or is Kingpin. So we're starting off the show with some great news for uh, the UK community here. Uh, because, yeah, they're, they're, again, it's not coming to the UK. Do you, do you want Kingpin and Dangs? I could probably get it. I've got, I've got <laughs> to be right here, man, already. Right, mate, I'm good. I'm good. I've got a Kingpin <laughs> on the wall. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But we have our ways, don't we, Rich? We have our ways. But uh, yeah, Kingpin is getting a re-release. So if you're in the US and you've missed out, again, it is one of those sought-after figures on the, in the, on the aftermarket. So it's fair game. I don't I don't mind a re-release. Um, it means more people can get on board and the more popular legends are, the better for the rest of us because it means the line is strong and they will continue uh, with making more figures because our worlds are not yet complete. Still plenty of characters out there we still need and that's exactly what we're going to talk about today via the live stream. As I said, on Monday, they are going to be revealing lots of stuff. So we're going to speculate, but I was about to, before we were rudely interrupted or shut down from Hasbro, we were about to... <laughs> <laughs> ask Rich's opinion on this brand new two pack. So again, they revealed this on Monday as they were revealing Giant Man updates uh, with the way it articulates, the way you put the mask on and off. And again, Giant Man looks great. I do think that's going to be one of those items that when it gets here, a lot of Marvel collectors that were probably on the fence and 
again, a lot of people don't like the Haslab concept, and that's absolutely fair. I understand everyone's reasons, but as a as a Marvel fan, forget the companies making these things. As a Marvel fan, if you've got a six inch plastic collection on your shelf, then and that big, tall, epic giant man is undoubtedly going to look great on display. Uh, so I do think people may start getting a little bit of FOMO, but never fear, because if you didn't get Giant Man, or you did, you now have a nice complimentary piece or just some new Avengers, some original OG Avengers to go to the collection. Uh, people asking you what you're drinking. Yeah, well, I'm on the free Prosecco that I nicked from the hotel. That's what I'm on. Hey. Yeah, you got to clear that bar, clear that bar. So, of course, <laughs> we knew we were getting Janet Van Dyne. We've seen that. Uh, they did sort of confirm to us where that tiny little accessory is coming from. Again, it, it wasn't Dragon Man, unfortunately. We did speculate a way it could possibly be Dragon Man. It could be Yellow Jacket. I, I, I think Rush speculated that. I don't think those words came out of my mouth. Let me yeah, say that. No, no, Rush. <laughs> <laughs> Rush de definitely led us down the Dragon Man rabbit hole. But he had his reason, to be fair. He didn't not just pull out, out of thin air. He, he found his sources, and I, I, I appreciated it. And he did. He found some images and some comics. But I said I said a yellow jacket based off a 30-second search on eBay. So he did more than me. Uh, we cannot deny that. But anyway, it is exactly what we all assumed it would be if we had to really put money on it. Just an accessory for an Ant-Man figure. And that's exactly what it is. Mr. Hank Pym is holding a tiny little yellow jacket. But what I think is really cool about this set is not only do we get Janet and Hank both with their own masked heads as well, which is a great touch, we get Hank wearing the exact same costume as the Giant Man. So this, these are two figures that could have been tears for the Haslab, but no, they have made the conscious choice to keep the six-inch figures away from the campaign, and it's for this reason. So they can offer them later down the line as individual figures, so you don't have to back anything, they're just there if you want them. They're just available right now in stock. These went straight into stock, by the way, which is rare. It only happened once in recent time with the Shield Agent 2-pack. That went was revealed, went straight into stock, and I remember, I remember reviewing that like 48 hours within it being revealed. So, won't be this quick with Giant Man, but I'm sure the US guys are going to get this. I've already seen lots of shipping uh, emails and notifications. So, point is, if you want this, get it now, and it should be on our hands by the end of the month. That's UK and us but rich what do you think of this hank pym and janet van dyne and man and the wasp two pack well before we get to that and i've got to do my best friday impersonation because when the stream went down we missed the super chat oh. so do 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 chadwick sorry. myers says damn i super chatted right at the last stream went down i just wanted to say that i called last week that the kinjet the quinjet was gonna be a giant man accessory there we go! Thank you very I, much. I'm Rich. much better robot. Much better robot. Well, <laughs> I, the genuinely, fires, I, again, right. I thought Friday, I to be fair, I did miss a couple of super chats and channel membership tokens on the last stream because I was going to get to them. Of course I was, but then the stream fucked up. So if anyone did super chat or throw a channel membership token on the last stream, again, I appreciate you. I apologize. Sometimes these things happen and I, I, it's, it's, it's shit. But feel my pain. I, basically, while we were down, I ran downstairs to reset my router and booted amanda's favorite lamp so now amanda oh, not by on purpose it sounds like i did that viciously on purpose I, I was just in a rush i was just rushing in my big fat slippers accidentally knocked over this little lamp and it smashed it so now amanda's in a big mood with me so this may be the last time i stream because she may she may genuinely murder me as soon as all, i'm finished all, right? all super chat tonight will be paying for a new lamp yes know, genuinely okay. that's a good point that is a good point so uh, <laughs> as always people you know what to do there will be an after show we are still going to do the after show even though it may be a little bit delayed so you know what to do hit that join button we appreciate you and yes and if over four pounds or four dollars friday will read it out or maybe a special request rich will read it out since he did such a good impression <laughs> of friday the robot but uh but yes uh it all appreciated and amanda if you're watching the replay i apologize about your lamp but anyway rich what do you think of the two pack well i mean i did call this the hasbro the Haslab tier apology two pack like the love triangle three pack i was trying to make it happen dan but i do think it's a really really good two pack i mean the wasp this is a brilliant version of Wasp, classic version of Wasp, which I don't think we've ever had from Hasbro in Marvel Legends in this look. And, like, Janet's got so many looks. She's the founding uh, founding member of the Avengers, the first female Avenger, and the one that gives the Avengers their name. So it makes sense in this packaging, and it complements that lovely giant man has that from last year. I wish they revealed this. Oh, the super chat. She's here. Friday's arrived. Is it rich? Andrew no, Chappell donated $10. Thank you, Andrew. Testing Joe Casta voice and then Dan's speaking ability. 
Pepper Potts picked purple peppers per Peter Parker's perspicuous plans. Oh, for fuck's sake. I try, Andrew. I appreciate the super chat. So he said, testing Jocasta voice uh, and Dan's speaking ability. I guess it could be Jocasta as well. Maybe it, maybe it is in disguise. Who knows? Uh, okay, I'll try this, Andrew. I appreciate the super chat. This will go towards Amanda's new lamp. Um, Pete, uh, Pepper Potts picked purple peppers per Peter Parker's permiscuous... That's the word I can't say. Permiscuous. Permiscuous plans. Pepper Potts picked purple peppers per Peter Parker's promiscuous plans. As long as I can say the words, I feel like I can say stuff pretty quick. Can you Can you do that one, Rich? Um, Passenger Caster's voice. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. You were just getting to the point of Giant Man, him being in the same costume as the actual Giant Man himself. Yeah, which I think is nice for people who got the hazard. Again, this, in a way, is like, because I think the... the I, well, I don't think... I honestly... So they say that this was the complaints about the previous Hazabs. I I really didn't see that. That the complaints were that the the add-on figures being six-inch figures was something that the community didn't like. Okay, whatever. But it means if you wanted the didn't want the Hazab but wanted a Wasp, you can now buy this two pack and you haven't got to pay for the Hazlab. So I can see why. And then obviously they say that this would have been fifty dollars dearer if they'd included this in like the base offering of the Hazlab. So again, yeah, okay, you can see that. This is a good two pack in altogether, but what I do wish is that this was revealed when the Hazard was back in because I probably wouldn't back the Hazard because I've got my hand pin giant man right here in six inch, but it'll fit on my shelf. So, yeah, so if anyone is looking for Hazard when the, that those giant men do share, then for five thousand pounds, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> great price, great aftermarket price there, Rich. Really the community, um, well, it is the least, but the least backed of all the Hazards so far. So, I think four more. Like the price will go up oh, and up and up. On air. This is what I'm saying. Like, there's such a bad like, and again, rightly so. I'm not like disagreeing with any opinions, but there is such a bad sort of cloud around the Haslabs thing, especially after the 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 the, the engine that shall not be named. So I think this year, our principal people just tried to avoid the Haslab because it caused a lot of just unnecessary negativity and stress within the community. And again, for right and wrong reasons. So I I think Giant Man it got over the line eventually, thankfully. But I genuinely thought it was a great looking item and as a again my love is marvel right hasbro are just a company that make these products but i, I look at marvel legends because i love marvel and like these are og avengers like rich said this is avengers series like issue one is hank pym and the wolf janet and hank ant-man in issue two his giant man these are like og characters that i think if you are a marvel fan and you're an avengers fan and you genuinely want a physical representation in plastic for your own collection like they're here. They're here for you. They're taken now. Uh, so they're not attached to any campaign. If you want them, you can go and get them. And I do think, like Rich says, Giant Man, because it's uh, it was the shortest, 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 shortest. He's not the shortest. He's the tallest. But the least backed Marvel Legend Haslab so far. That may mean it may make it more desirable on the aftermarket. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But uh, I do think a few people will get FOMO with that one because... I was uh, saying in my video, if they release the 12 inch scaled version, which we know they can do because they have done the 12 inch uh, legends have also recent in recent time done the super adaptoid. If they did a 12 inch version of this suit, like it means people who missed out on the giant man or didn't want the giant man could get the 12 inch version. And now you can have the growing effect as well with the six inch, 12 inch and the thing. I don't think they will do the 12 inch, but I reckon it. Why not? Why? Why? Why not? Because I I would buy it to have that growing effect on a shelf. Uh, the only thing that disappoints me about this two pack, and again, it's a, it's a tiny nitpick, so I apologise because I do genuinely think this is a great two pack. Two A list Avenger characters, both come with unmasked heads, both in their classic looking looks, both completely pinless. Like there are definitely more positives here than negative, but. I would remove the two flasks, like get rid of the flasks, get rid of that stupid like aim reader. And give me a tiny Ant Man and Wasp. Do you know what I mean? Like, give me a little Ant Man yeah. and Wasp because I, I don't, would. I don't need. The I would beakers. take. I would see. I would take an Ant Man and Wasp. I wouldn't remove the beakers. I would remove that giant sized giant man coat, which I, I think he's borrowed off Beast. I think it's the Beast coat. It's way too big and he looks shit. So yeah, I'm not into that. <laughs> um, to be fair to them, they did say it isn't the Beast one. It's it. Well, they said it is the same. 
lab jacket but scaled better but it doesn't seem that way does it, <laughs> it, no. does, it doesn't... Some, some, some someone with a sense of maths i don't think it's done the correct work is out on that yeah. but there we go uh, hasbro marvel legends need to phone a tailor because uh yeah unfortunately it does look a little bit baggy on him it does look a little bit baggy but i do think it's going to be skinnier than the than the beast version um but it's still again like, i don't I, i'm not someone clamoring for soft goods but i know a lot of people out there swap out their capes for soft goods for more dry out dynamic poses so again i, I appreciate appreciate the attempt here from hasbro but uh yeah the tailoring isn't quite good hank definitely needs to go and see a new tailor um but again this is potential if you don't want to use it on hank try it on a try i'm going to try this lab coat on the hank pin that came in the uh, west coast avengers three pack because he's a little bit chunkier uh or five pack and it might look a little bit better and then that way i can have the overall yeah, yeah and this what that way i can have this is giant man uh with the ant-man head school and then I'll have the other one as my Hank Pym on the shelf and I can have the lab coat on that maybe. But again, Bruce Banner, uh, Reed Richards, like, and if you really wanted to, you could pop off the arms and like pop on Reed Richards' arms and give him Reed Richards' jacket, which I've seen a lot of people do with that previous Ant-Man that we got last year. So there are ways to work around and kit bash if you want to. But uh, again, you can't be mad at them are trying soft goods here. But yeah, there's no denying that the tailor needs sorting out. So uh, yeah, maybe you can get like a, a, a peg, stick it up. Uh, Stick it behind him so it like tightens it up a little bit. I don't know. I I think they purposely give us shit soft guns. So we, we, want we, want, we want fast guns. Then they're like, you didn't, you didn't mourn them anyway. That's what you did was mourn. Like, yeah. piss off. <laughs> yeah, you, to be fair, they can't win, can they? People go, we want soft goods. They give us soft goods. They're shit soft goods. Like, they just can't win. So I do feel sorry for them on occasion. Uh, but yeah, my nitpick is give me a little Ant Man and Wasp. Like, I was hoping when Wasp was revealed, we would get a little tiny Wasp or Ant Man to go with her. Uh, because then it's technically a two pack. But it is a two pack because we get Ant Man and Wasp anyway. But, it, uh, but yeah, there's my little nitpick. But overall, I genuinely do think it's a great two-pack for an avengers fan for a marvel legends fan again completely pinless both of the figures are both got unmasked head sculpt with a digital face print in tech uh both come with a set of interchangeable hands and they look good they look like the characters they're meant to represent from the source material like that's got to be important the, right that's got to matter the promo pictures on these are brilliant whoever took the pictures because usually i'm more about that shit in pause i always like yeah. more about that Whoever did the pictures for these are like the posing of them together. It looks like it's come from the comic book. It just looks like a great set. And I think because they've got like that posability, the double jointed pinless joints, they both look like amazing. This looks like a great set, to be fair. The pro I, ca I cannot moan about this one, everyone. The, 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 the pictures make a difference because they can make a, a good set more desirable. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, but if a good, it, like, it could genuinely be two good figures, but if they're posed up and the promo pictures are not good, it doesn't do the figures justice. And then it's just, though promo pictures do make a hell of a difference. So I do appreciate when they make more effort with the promo pictures. Like they've recreated the pose of Giant Man there when they were promoting Giant Man. And again, I like how he's wearing the same outfit. Um, because that's exactly what we wanted. That's what that was a critique of mine from the Giant Man campaign. Like I didn't really need the interchangeable heads. I would have preferred a Wasp and a Giant Man, but it doesn't matter now because they're here anyway, and I didn't have to pay that extra price baked into the Haslab originally. Do you know, like because that's how it all works. We're we're not naive to it. They have to bake the money in for these tiers and whatnot, whether we agree with it or not. So it doesn't matter now because if you want Ant Man and the Wasp, you can buy them as a two pack, and I think they're two great looking figures. Oh. Omar in the chat says shooting the galaxy uh, did the photograph. So I think Hasbro have been using a lot for all the different lines at the minute. So yeah, check out uh, shooting the galaxy over on Instagram. Uh, amazing, amazing toy photographer and good job that Hasbro are using him. Like it's brilliant. I think, yeah, he's employed by Hasbro now, isn't he? He yeah, did the so, yeah. Giant Man setup as well, didn't he? I'm so. a fan. No, I'm a fan. I've spoke to him a few times on Instagram. I, I like what he does. And it, it makes it, as I said, it genuinely makes a difference um, for the for the reveals of these things because it can make, it can show off how good a set can be if the pictures are done right. Uh, but they look good in hand as well. And again, there'll be reviews. By the weekend, people, there'll be reviews. Look out for MCU Collector. I'm sure he'll have a review up by the weekend comes. Um, but uh, yeah, they look really good. How are you going to display them? Because uh, I'm May have may have brought two sets, Rich, but I might not have. I might that might just be wild rumors. But that's how much I like this set here. I'm, I'm gonna use like unhelmeted Jana because I like that like classic look. So that's the Jana I'm gonna use, and then I'm gonna take off that uh, jacket and put like Hank Pym like behind Jana. I think maybe on like a little stance. He's a bit taller, and then if that works and it satisfies me enough, I'll be standing that has lab. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, because he can still be your giant man. He's just not using his pin particles, I suppose. It's not the size of the giant man, Dan. It's how you use it. That's what counts, still there. I guess. I guess. Depends who you speak to if size matters or not. It depends <laughs> on people's tolerances, I guess. Um, 
But uh, anyway, there you go. So that started, that was some news at the start of the week. And again, that's some good news. That is some good news. When do you think we're going to end up getting Giant Man, Rich? Um, but the fact that this is dropping so soon, I would say sooner rather than later. I just expect maybe end of summer, I think. That'd be great. Uh, I, I would assume Galactus we didn't get until later in the year, did we? We got him like November or October time. So I, I would have just assumed the same. But if this ends up coming out September, August or August, September... I wouldn't be mad about that. Again, it's one it's, of those. Where it's we... less stuff though, isn't it? Because it's like there's no add-ons, just heads. I yeah. think I think it'd be easy. I think it'd be easier next week. Next week, Dan. Next week, Giant Man's on his way. <laughs> on his way. Um, again, I'm excited for it, and it's one of those where I've already paid for it. it, it like it's it's just it's just going to arrive when it arrives now. So uh, I'm looking forward to. I need to. I've only just made room for Galactus, so I need to already start making room for Giant Man. But with the gold Iron Man that's coming. Um, we can definitely start building a nice early Avengers team now for the collection. And that's what it's all about for me. We're building, recreating those iconic teams accurately in plastic for our shelves. And uh, we're definitely a step closer with this two-pack. So bravo. Again, we like to critique and moan when we when we do. Uh, but it's it's nice to praise when they do a good job as well. And I think these, are two, these two characters make sense. It's not like they packed in the Wasp with a random character that no one wanted. And then we've all got to moan about having to buy that to get the character we want. Like, these are two desirable A-list Avengers, bravo. Bravo, looks great, happy about it. Uh, so let's start the speculation, shall we? So on Monday, uh, there is going to be a fan stream. Now, my research, as I always do, I spend about 30 seconds researching these topics. Last year, <laughs> last year, March the 1st, all right? So, so far, we have had a fan stream in December, uh, a fan stream in February, all right? Uh, and now we're going to have one in April, okay? So every couple of months, they sort of reveal, do the reveals. Those reveals gradually go on pre-order, and then they reveal some more stuff. That seems to be the pattern they are doing. So once the reveals, uh, once all the reveals have gone up for pre-order or released or whatever it may be, they do another set of reveals, which is what we're going to see here. And on the 1st of March last year, they revealed the whole summer program, okay? So they revealed the whole of the B Avengers Earth's Mighty, if they did all 10, where's the, where's the image? It's there somewhere. So they revealed a couple of two packs on this set here, but they did reveal all 10 items. So there's Iron Man, the Bruce Banner two pack, uh, the Hulk uh, and Destroyer, which was a great set. There's Hawkeye as well. Um, we've got the uh, Maria and um, the Secret Wars Doom. Uh, we got the Cersei and Black. No, they... Monica, Dan. Monica, Monica no, it's my bad. My, bad. my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, but my point is, they revealed all, all 10 of the summer program items in one stream. And then gradually, those went for pre-order as the weeks went on. So, if we are just going based off the evidence of what's in front of us, one can assume that I think this stream is to reveal the summer program. They're going to reveal all 10 items like they did last year. Now, they may throw in a few extras, which is great. No complaints with that. But I do think the main thing of this stream is going to be, let's see what the summer program is. So in the live chat, I did have a live chat on the last stream that messed up. So I apologize. I never seen the result. So if you've already voted, please vote again with the new stream, of course. Uh, but it does say, what do you think the summer program will be? And again, me and Rich don't know. We are just guessing and speculating for the sake of conversation. All right. So these are our sort of suggestions here. 85 years of Marvel, because that seems to be an initiative that Marvel may be pushing in the comics, which sometimes translate to toys. We will talk about it in a second. Bring on the bad guys. Now, we have had a bring on the bad guys wave in recent years. It was the Zemu Builder Figure wave, if I remember correctly. Um, and on these leaked lists, these rumor lists that are going around Reddit and Facebook groups and all of that, there's a lot of random bad guys. So... Maybe bring on the bad guys is the summer theme because that would give them free reign to just release bad guys from all over the Marvel Universe. So I think bring on the bad guys is a, is a decent guess. Uh, or is it something MCU related? Of course, we know we've got Deadpool coming out, lots of cameos. Other than that, though, not a lot of other MCU movies. So maybe they do something like the Infinity Saga or the, the Marvel Studios or something. I don't know. They've done different MCU related uh, summer programs in the past. So is it MCU related? Or Eternals Wave 2. Whoa, okay, I hope it's not that. Um, <laughs> uh, or is it some other comic theme? Because let's be honest, it could just be Spider-Man. Because it is still like, there's a way, you can always find a way to celebrate Spider-Man. And I think this year is some type of Venom black suit anniversary. So there could be like a whole 10 item Spider-Man black suit Venom. It could be a Venom 10 year or Venom anniversary sets. 
And with the Black Silk, it is obviously Secret Wars as well. That anniversary is there. And again, we've got the Wasp and Giant Man 2 pack. They said Earth Might Yes is continuing because it's been continuing for the second year as a summer theme. That could also be something. Or it could be something X Men related. Generation X, anniversary of Generation X. Really? A big, a big, you know, we know we know that that's big in the in the cosmos this year. So there's definitely something Generation X planned, I'm sure. I'm sure. Somewhere. Look, Generation Maybe. X is one of those retro cards that they haven't got to yet. They've just revealed a whole wave of Iron Man cards. Maybe I'll do a oh. fan fiction, a Generation X fan fiction, and you can read all about my Jubilee and Monet adventures. Look, there's lots of great <laughs> characters that we still haven't got in Legends form that would be perfect for a Generation X card. So, yeah, a lot of the rumours are out there. A lot of the rumours of the Iron Man retro wave were out there, and they ended up being exactly bang on the money. So, that makes me think, well, the, the Secret Wars rumours have got to be true as well. But is it the summer programme? Maybe, maybe not. We're about to find out. Uh, go, go watch Rick Tangler's channel. You may, he may have already leaked the summer wave and not, not even known he's done it. Yeah. Good he said. yeah, exactly. So, again, I'm, you know me. I just I like to just speculate and talk like the best of you, but I, I don't know anything. I, I, I know the same information you guys know from reddit and all that places but if, it, if we don't know it's legit until it's actually revealed but based off previous history they end up being pretty close to right if not right bang on the money so 44 yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty good with the predictions <laughs> isn't they damn pretty pretty good <laughs> for 85 years of marvel so far 44 percent of you think it could be that now again uh they're the teasers i'll come back to them in a second but there you go so again we found this on some t-shirt website it could be nothing this is just me and rich just digging going into a hole that makes no sense but there is an initiative, to, initiative, I can't even say that word anymore. I've said it so much, it's lost meaning. There is a program celebrating Marvel's 85 years. Um, so it could be that, could be that. And that, again, that and, that, and that theme can cover anything, like, anything, anything, literally anything. Literally, it's just a, it's a layup theme because it's like, wow, we just continue releasing Marvel products and just whack that label on it and it's a theme. It's like, <laughs> it just could be anything, all right? So that's what it is. But Bring On The Bad Guys is a little bit more isolated. So, uh Let's 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 speculate away. So shout out Dan Yoon who showed this picture off. Uh, so you need to post a picture now, Rich, and be back to Dan and be like, "Yeah, Dan, two can play that game, mate. Two can play think, that game." I think oh, I think he's already man. posted. I think he's already posted one of these oh, ones. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Right. Yeah. Uh, who song two can play that game? Bobby Brown. Is it Bobby Brown? Two can play that game. Yeah. Oh, I just started playing. singing it in my head for no reason. But anyway, shout Bobby's out. Bobby's got a brand new. It's oh, Bobby Brown. I think okay. it's Bobby cool. Brown. Cool. I think the, Bobby Brown. The chat will confirm. The chat will Bobby! confirm. Bobby! Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's speculate away. So, based of what we know so far. There are two teasers out there, okay? So I mentioned earlier, there were two Marvel Legend live streams. One of them, at the end of December, there was a little clue, right? And that was December. And they still haven't revealed what it is. Here it is. The blurry flame effect. We still don't know what this is and where it's going. So this was revealed at the end of the live stream in December. And so far right now, we still have no idea what it is a part of. Will this answer finally be answered? Or this question finally be answered on Monday, Rich? Are we going to find out where this is going on Monday? I think it's got, it's got to be. The more I look at it, the more it looks like a, fe it looks like a phoenix head coming up. The more I think it is Rachel, but then I think I think I just looked at it for so much, Dad. That it's just tricking me now. It's just playing games on me. It's like a cloud. You stare at it so long, it's just to, yeah. like, it just starts. Yeah, I see torment. Oh. My dad beating it's me. It's Howard the Duck. Uh, He's a Howard the Duck, man. <laughs> uh, no, it's um, Rachel Summers is is my desire. Whether it's my guess or not, I'm not too sure. But a fire uh, related character that I would like in my collection, of course, UK rep and Excalibur. I would like a Rachel Summers. So um. I want it to be Rachel in her sort of uh, spiky phoenix outfit. Um, the hound costume. Yeah, that hound would be costume. Him. That's what I would like to see. That if that's that's if that's what this is, happy days. So if I don't think that's what it's going to be because it's never exactly what I want it to be. They never work. They never works out that way, unfortunately. But that's what I would I like it to be. So what's your next best guess if it's not Rachel? Do you have? Do you think it's Rachel like me, or do you reckon we're off? It's just, they're, they're misleading us here. I think it could be Rachel. I think it might be some kind of Ghost Rider thing. But then I don't think it's big enough for a bite. I would like it to be uh, like Maximum Carnage. Like if it's like Venom okay. and Carnage, yeah. A Maximum Carnage fighter star in a black leather jacket. That would be a great figure. I don't think it is, but that would be a great one. And, you know, 
Because if that Quinjet was for Dragoman, it could be Firebird, couldn't it? Could it be Firebird? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to look at them. So I've got the leaked lists in front of me, and we can sort of bounce back and forth to this as we chat away. And uh, Ghost Rider has been heavily rumoured for a while. Ryan Ting did say in my interview at MCM that we would be getting another Rider's Way figure this year, but it's not what we expect. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, would like uh, to see Danny Ketch, uh, but where would this go on the bike? Like, is this a, is, would this prop up the bike? It looks a bit too it's small like, to prop yeah. up the bike, though, does it? That's that's what, that's what I think. That's what yeah. I think. But it, but it's hard to tell. Like who's be, who's behind it? Maybe they've got really small hands. You can't you can't judge it. It's can a, you? you can't it judge plugs it into enough. something. That's that's not shaped in that way. That which, plugs into which bo something. which bodily part are we thinking it plugs into? <laughs> wow. Dan? I don't know, a foot, maybe? I a foot. Know. Oh, yeah, a foot. Play save, play save. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I don't know any uh, X-Men or Marvel character that it would plug in anywhere else. Again, it could be... It could be like, it could be like, a, yeah. like, a, like a pyro type thing, yeah. like shooting fire or like human torch. Or it could be someone like breathing. Like, is there a fire breather so, in the Marvel Universe? I, I'm looking at these leak lists and I'm like looking for flame-related characters and there's nothing really there. There is a Venom and Carnage set that's rumoured, by the way, Um but whether that's Venom and Carnage, we don't know. Um, um, Iron Fist. Iron Fist doesn't really have fiery powers. It says Iron Fist and another character. Now, I know a lot of everybody uh, wants the classic Iron Fist with the big V. We want an updated version to go along with the with the Power Man that we got last year. Um, and it's been a while since we got Iron Fist anyway. So a classic Iron Fist, I think, would be a great shout. But are there any fire characters that go with Iron Fist? Like, the, 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 the Daughters of the Dragon don't have fire effects, do they? Like... No, I mean, like Misty Knight, Clean Wing, they would be good characters to put with uh, Danny Cage. Because obviously yeah. we've had Luke Cage in his classic look last year, so you don't really and need Misty to redo Knight that. And Misty Knight needs a redo, let's be honest. Those poor goggly-eyed oh, Misty Knight. She 100% needs a redo. But like, oh, Clean, yeah. Clean Wing has never had a comic book figure as well, so she yeah. would be a great one to put with Danny Rand as well. But we, we're assuming it's Danny Rand. It could be the updated Swordmaster um, uh, Iron Fist. who's kind of like around comic books. We don't know. We don't yeah, know. We don't know. We don't know. So... So, may, do you reckon this tease is to the same character that the second tease is? Because in February, they did another tease. Before we go to that, let me just jump back to the chat for a second. Uh, a couple of channel membership tokens. Thank you very much to both Jay and Tanner. So, Jay says, wow, this is embarrassing. For the last 25 minutes, I've been re-watching the first part of the stream, thinking you two were trying to recreate it word for word. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that would have been impressive, though, if we had did that. Um, I was wondering why he was posting like, like that stuff in the chat. I was like... <laughs> We're not doing that. I thought you were he was saying in the right chat, but watching yeah. the wrong stream. Oh, okay, clever. <laughs> yeah, so the we, the first half an hour of this stream that messed up is now only for channel members, all right? No one else even knows it happened. But if you're a channel member, I'll leave it there for you guys to enjoy, okay? Uh, so thank you very much, Jay, uh, for that uh, for the viewership. It's all watch time, Jay. It all counts, all right? It all counts. Uh, and Tanner says, I'm sticking with the prediction that it's someone who farts fire. He's staying strong to that prediction, Tanner. He's not sort of wavered from that prediction, but he can't give me a character that it relates to. He thinks strongly that it's someone who farts fire. But when fire I ask fire. Him, do, I, you remember, do you remember the X-Men? I did ask then? him, can I have some comic reference? Can you can you give me the source material so I can learn about this fire farter? And he's, he's yet to give it me. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure if Tanner's right there, but we shall see. Um... But thank you very much both for the channel membership token. But the second the second tease we have been given at the end of these live streams was in February. And this one I think is a little bit easier to get. It's a sword. And everyone instantly went, oh, that Scar sword. Bruce Banner's son from Planet Hulk Scar. Now, we haven't had any sort of Planet Hulk related characters in a good while. We had two waves of them when it was the original Fing Fan Foom builder figure. Is it the year of the dragon? Are we getting Fing Fan Foom later? Who knows? But are they bang on the money saying this is Scar? Is this obvious? I, th I think it's got to be Scar. I think, yeah. And Scar's overdue, I think, a figure as well. So, yeah, I think, I think that is a new comic book Scar would be well received like a deluxe like a bigger oversized figure that would be a great figure to get i don't see how the fire can fit with him or a figure that could go with him that's what i'm trying to think of like a two yeah. I, I think scar would be a like a, on his own i don't think yeah. he would be a two pack either agreed agreed for the record i don't think these two accessories go together i do think they're teases to two different marvel legends it was just a question do you reckon they are related in any sense but i, I don't think they are but uh yeah i think this is scar there is some source material out there that shows this exact 
uh, sort of uh, knife for Scar, but he has had different weapons throughout his different appearances. So again, it's just one iteration of Scar's sword, but uh, it's too big for to be a six inch character sword. Like you can see how thick that handle is. It needs to be a deluxe character to hold it. So Scar is on those leaked lists as well. It is on those rumored lists. So I do think Scar is a good guess for this one. So yeah, based off those rumored lists, I still can't figure out what that is. The only flame character on there is a Ghost Rider. So it could be Danny Ketch. We could be way off. I'm hoping for a, a Hound Rachel Summers. And this looks like it could be Scar. Um or some bigger deluxe character all the same. So they're the two teasers that need to be sort of revealed. But other than that, Rich, we don't know. We do we not have nothing. know. So again, I think the summer program's been revealed. So let's just focus on bring on the bad guys for a minute, okay? So I'm just going to go down this, uh, this list, these rumoured lists we got in front of me. And throw a few things at you. In the thumbnail or the, the image I showed on uh, Instagram, I think I put a picture of Destiny and Mystique as there is a rumoured two-pack out there for these. Again, we don't know if it's going to happen until it actually happens. But these are two characters that we have been asking for. Uh, I think Destiny is, it was someone I actually talked to Ryan Ting about uh, at MCN as well. Because especially when we got Spyro last year, we needed we just needed Destiny to complete um, some of Mystique's Evil Brotherhood of Mutants. So... She's a character we haven't had either in Legends form, right? Ever. Have we ever had a Destiny? Never had a Destiny yeah. figure, let alone Legends. <laughs> Toy Bears never never touched a Destiny. Much overdue. Again, in modern day comic books, she's been around like front and centre in the House of X era, brought back to life. A Destiny figure would be amazing. And that Mystique is long overdue an update. Greens. I mean, she was a Walgreens exclusive that sold out really quickly. That's, that's where we first got the Lalandra head, which has since been redone to a whole figure now. And again, like Mystique is a shape changer, so there's a lot you can do with it. But I hope I hope they do an update of that classic look. I hope they don't do like her X Factor, yeah. like white leotard look, or like her black costume that she had in the Brian K. Vaughan run. I hope it's that one, but updated with maybe a couple of different heads as well. Um, yeah, that would be a great two pack. The two of them together, you know. Girl power. Look, Lesbians! Yay! I, I, look. I, I love it when Hasbro do two packs that make sense. Now, I understand sometimes some figures require more tooling, more budget. So they have to throw in a cheaper one, like a repaint or sometimes just to balance the sheets. Again, all logistics, I'm sure. But it it's so much better just as a consumer that these things make sense. Like two characters that make sense, um, like, like we just got with Hank and Janet, make sense. Destiny and Mystique make sense. Like, it's perfect. Like, we've never had a Destiny ever in the Marvel Legends line. It's a character whole that we need. Um, and then Mystique, way overdue an upgrade. We've had this same one released twice now. Again, like Rich said, it was the uh, Walgreens and then re-released in the VHS line with the Sal Shade in, which gave people a second opportunity to get it. But let's be honest, she deals with the, the jelly leg syndrome. These <gasps> like curvy oh. Woods. oh, sorry, I was there. Uh... Modsy, no, Modsy, no, no. She's, Dan. Wearing, she's wearing a onesie. She's fine, she's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she's got the jelly legs. So yeah, this is my mind's eye of Mystique though, with the white and the and the school belt and the red hair, etc. So uh, Marvel Legends have done a version of her in the black, haven't they? During the Epic Hero days, uh, where yeah. she's got like the gun holsters and the the black jeans and stuff. So yeah, if we get if this is legit and we're getting Destiny and Mystique, I want it to be classic update, pinless Mystique, double jointed elbows, all of that. And then yeah, I take a Destiny. Which Destiny's been unhelmeted, right? And she's yeah, young and old. so she's so in House of X they resurrect her and she's young again. But obviously she's an older lady and like her and Mystique have been together for like years and years and years. Just like a, she's a great she's a great great character. Destiny, like I mean the the adopted uh, parents of Rogue, the parents of Nightcrawler, just two great characters, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a villains pack that could fall into bring on the bad guys theme another one that uh, stands out uh, in regards to two packs is crossbones and constrictor two pack now constrictor is of course serpent society uh, and we have been slowly and i say slowly uh, been adding members to our serpent society we usually get one a year like I know one a year no more no yeah, more see like a team <laughs> that like has a lot of characters i know we got like rock python and then king cobra and then last year we got the puff adder builder figure so it is 2024 
It's a brand new year and we are yet to see uh, a member of um, the Serpent Society. But Constrictor is someone we already have. We got Constrictor in the Epic Hero days. Now, granted, that was a long time ago, about a decade ago. So he is in that sort of ballpark of worthy and fair game for a re-release. Like, there are better bodies and um, ways to execute that particular character design. Uh, and he comes with crossbones. It, okay, according to the rumoured list. Wouldn't it make more sense... To do two Serpent Society members. Like, we could get Diamond back. There's a character we've never had. Oh, oh Diamond back would be... i got to be honest. Because of all the Serpent Society Constrictor, apart from the bad girls, yeah. Black Mamba, Asp, and Diamond back, Constrictor is my favourite of all. Well, he gets a so lot of I, attention, is not he? He's, like, married he to does. the woman and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he shows up in, like, a Avengers Initiative. Frank, I think his name is. For a bit. I think it is. I think it is, yeah. yeah, yeah. But he's a, he's, a, he's a great character. And he could do an update... Crossbones, I don't need as much, but he is a bad guy. Like, so, yeah, kind of, I suppose. Yeah, Crossbones, we have got one. I can't remember what wave it was. The chat can help me out. But we did get him in a Builder figure wave. But it was just a redo of the one we got in the 2014 um, San Diego Comic-Con box set um, for the Thunderbolts. So... It's on an older book, is my point. So Crossbones, again, is a, is, a, is a character that could be upgraded, the same as Constrictor. It's an odd pairing. It's an odd pairing, but they are two bad guys. And that's what the Bring on the Bad Guys theme does. It allows you to just use the... The only connection you need is they're both villains. They're both bad guys. Uh, so, yeah, Crossbones and Constrictor, random two-pack. Like... I mean, she elks in a bloody Iron Man car. I think any yeah. anything's gone out the window yeah. these days. Do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that one. <laughs> that one is uh, again. I'd prefer if you're going to re-release a, a, a character from the Serpent Society we already have. Why not throw in another character we don't have? Make it more desirable. That's what I say. So again, like I would like, I would like Diamondback personally. That she's the next on my list to be done because we haven't really had many of the females. I know we've got Viper, which is essentially Madame Hydra, but we need like some more. We need some more. Like Black Mamba would have been great as well, to be fair. So we need some of the actual snake bodies now as well. Um, so. Yeah, I'm all for completing the Serpent Society in plastic, by the way. I think uh, Glenn Webb back in the day did some epic customs um, way back in the day. So uh, I've always wanted them since then. So, yeah, if, I was, if it's gone. I was just looking at, like, uh, see if there was a comic book where the two of them appear. And Gambit, issue 18, Constrictor and Crossbones are both in the same issue trying to kill Gambit. So there we go. There's a connection. Maybe it's, it's from that, from Gambit 18, the well-known comic book from Fabian Nicieza. And Yannick Paquet. There we go. There you go. We figured it out. We figured it out. So there's another villain two pack potential. Again, everything we're talking about here, these ain't us leaking anything. This is just based off information we are reading online. The same as all of you can. It's on Reddit, Facebook. It's just fun for the sake of conversation. We're not hurting anybody. We're not hurting anyone. We're fans of this stuff. Look at look at the room behind me. It's full of legends. All right. This is fair game. Uh, right. Four pack. There's a four pack on here as well. Okay. Find the, let's find the connection between these. Apart, apart from the fact that they're all villains. We got Doctor Doom, Iron Patriot, Taskmaster, and Loki. Shout out Matthew for subscribing as well. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. So Doctor Doom, Iron Patriot, Taskmaster, and Loki. Another random pairing of characters in a four pack that could that could use the mantle of bring on the bad guys to connect the dots. Right? Has to. Yeah, I mean, I Why mean, else? Been... Why else would you put them together? Big Avengers villains at one point, the big bads of the Avengers from like maybe it could be in Earth Might Yes packaging, like different eras, like 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. Yeah. One for each, one for each group what? of ten years. Okay, Loki would be the first ten, then Doom, yeah. then Iron Patriot, then Taskmaster. Yeah, Taskmaster probably before Iron Patriot would probably okay. be the like two thousands. Two thousands, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um okay, let's break these down then. So Doctor Doom. Uh, we've got that's the cabal. Tab Liv says that's the cabal. That is not random. There we go. Oh, okay. They're the anti Illuminati team. Are they? Oh, in regards to Crossbones and Contrista or, or the four pack? The four, the four pack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that the one where. Oh, okay. Is that the one where the void's involved as well? Do you know they're all sitting around a table and the void's there and on um, page. I think. It's during the I Dark Avengers is... run where, the, uh, like, Harry. Uh, um, is not Harry M. Um, Norman wasn't it? Um, wasn't Emma Frost on it as well? Yeah, I like, think so. She was like a double age on when she or something. I think the void's involved in that. If I, again, is the void involved with that cabal? Please let me know whoever was writing that in the chat. And um, right, something I didn't show off earlier. 
because I forgot to, but I will right now because it's perfectly on theme. Let me show this off, all right? This isn't Marvel Legends, so this is blasphemy showing it off on the stream. But it is the Doctor Doom Marvel Select. Now, I got this at Toy Fair this weekend. £15, people. £15. Um, so I I'd take that for £15. And it's got the Select in it right now. But to be honest, I only wanted the throne and stuff for our many, many Marvel Legends. And if this le these lists and rumours are to be true... We may have another have another uh, Doctor Doom to add to the pile. So we've got the the Thanos killing Doom. We've got the retro carded Doom with the lighter green. Um, we've got two of the dark green versions. I think maybe I'm trying to look around on my shelf. Do we need another Doom? Right? What can they do better to the ones we've got? Or is there a version of Doom they haven't yet done? Because we've got the Secret Wars style. We've got the regular. We've got two of the regular sort of styles with the light green and not. Like, there's four Dooms I can think of on my display off the top of my head. What other Doom? Oh, and, and there's a. What's the one with Iron Man where he's wearing the Iron Man armor? The Invincible. It's not the Invincible Doom. What's he called? The, oh, Superior I know what you mean. Doom. Oh, he's not super. He's, he's the. Oh, there's something doing. Where he's got he? no scars and he keeps annoying yeah. Tony Stark in the comics. He keeps peering. Ah, uh, fuck. Someone help me out. That's been released in Marvel Legends as well. So there's five Dooms in the recent Hasbro era that I can just plop from the top of my head. Do we need another Doom? <laughs> like, is he that hard to get we on did... the aftermarket? The, the only Doom I would take would be a Doom 2099, which is like the future 2099 version with like the spikes on him. That would be like a great one to get. I would Let's take a, a Doom 2099. Let's have a little look at that. Marvel... Doctor Doom. Infamous Iron Man, Jason says. Thank you, thank you, Iron Man. thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Oh, Pink Psylocke says the fire effect could be for Crystal from the Inhumans. That, Ooh. I would 100% take a Crystal from the Inhumans. Ooh, yes, please. Um... All right, let me just get a picture up uh, of... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is just me jumping on Google, Rich, but is that Doom 2099? That is like, yeah, like his, like I think, second costume. He had like two looks because okay. there was like a Reign of Doom crossover thing and then he changed his costume up a bit. But yeah, I would take uh, 2099 Doom 100%. Okay, well, there's a couple of alternative looks for Doom uh, that it could potentially be. Um, so Doom's an A-list a, a character. He's an A-list villain, all right? So, and he's so... I do think he's one of those villains that they can, they can keep release and letting people get the opportunity to get him but uh that that set itself is pretty a-list because it's like doom Loki, that's what i'm saying norman osborn like yeah. a taskmaster that's a pretty good full pack to get well, so as we move through them then let's move to iron patriot which is of course uh norman osborn um and i'm i'm thinking this is obviously the upgrade that we've all been wanting the darker dark avengers iron patriot norman osborn and mast head like there's plenty of Iron Man Marvel Legends they could choose to sort of give a little repaint there to make it more accessible for the Legends to release, maybe. Um, so, yeah, that's got to be an upgraded uh, Iron Patriot with the red, white and blue on the Iron Man costume. But give us the normal Osborn head. I think that's a must. You have to, right? Yeah, I think it's got to include the Norman, Norman head. But I love Dark Avengers, so that would be a great figure to get. Again, we still need that Moonstone Miss Marvel. That's like one of my most wanted in that red All costume. Birds? Oh no. No, that's that would be the black costume yeah. Carol. Yeah. So yeah. So I want I want red costume yeah. like so you'll get classic Carol head with it and Moonstone long straightened yeah. hair as well. Yeah. Get two in one. Two in one. I'll take it. No, I think people would love to do you know that that uh, that image from the the Dark Avengers where he's announcing everybody? I think people would yeah. love to recreate that where you've got Ares and Bullseye and all of that on there. Taskmaster is another one we've had a couple of times. We've got like the Udon Taskmaster and then the sort of more regular version. And we got them both in Builder Figure Waves down the line, I think. Um, but Taskmaster is just one of those characters that I like in comic form, not the MCU version, all right? Like, let's not talk about that for the ruining fucking, what's his name? Tony Mas Jason Master. Well, they, they, they might, a uh, thing, uh, Redeemer in Thunderbolt. She might be a favorite character so. now. I hope so. I, I will give him a chance because uh, I want the MCU to get back on track. So, But in, in comic form, in Legends form, uh, my Taskmaster is currently, uh, I think he's on the, uh, I think he's on my Spider Man shelf, to be fair, but it would make more sense for him to be Avengers. So I'll take what a... kind of Master Kiss are you on your yeah, Spider Man shelf? I, know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Where are you, Dan? Do you work for Hasbro? What, no, what's going no, on? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish he came in an Iron Man retro car. Iron Man. I think he is. Anyway, anyway, I, a Taskmaster is a good character, and we haven't had like a pinless version. Um, 
So I, I wouldn't. I don't mind to see what they did. But would they? But is this one of those four packs where only one of the figures gets all the attention, and the others are just repacks with a bit of new paint? Like that's what I mean. It could. I'm all good saying oh, I'd love a new Taskmaster, but they could just re-release the old one because people missed out. Do you know? So it could be. Uh, and then Loki. We've had a couple of Lokis. Uh, what, uh, I'm trying to think. On the retro card is probably the most recent one. Uh, yeah. Of course, they released some Loki stuff to accompany the Loki series that has had two series now on Disney+. Plus. So we have had Loki figures for our Asgardian displays. So again, is he another pack-in? Like a, just another, oh, just shove Loki in there, quick redo. But surely we've had two versions of like that regular Asgardian Loki now. Um so they'd have to give us a different look. And there are many different looks for Loki in the comics. I'm thinking more modern. He's like that That's what, sort of suit, uh, yeah. maybe. That's what I want. Like the more modern, yeah. like like young adult version of Loki. Like Diamond Selected a version of it. Like that. I would like that. Or like a classic version, which is not like the painted body, the painted scales, like it's actually sculpted yeah. with the massive horns, big cape. Well, That's what I would like. The, the version Toy Bid did, yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We haven't really got the extravagant uh, Loki in Legends form for sure. So, yeah, like the four A, -A list characters for villains Doom, Norman Osborn, Iron Patriot, Taskmaster, and Loki. Like, there's no denying that they're four popular characters. But uh, I think for me, that pack, my excitement level depends on what versions of each of them we get. Um, for me, the biggest gap I need to fill is is the Iron Patriot. Like, I've got a Taskmaster, Loki, and do plenty of Dooms on my shelf. But I would, like, the last time we got Iron Patriot was in the uh, Iron Man Free Wave. Uh, I and think we, so. And we never got a Norman Osborn head. Like, you had to always kit bash your own. So I think out of those four characters, I think Iron Patriot's the one, just for me, just for my little collection, is uh, the the gap I would like filling. Of of all the villains in the, this is not not just these leaked lists now, but of all the villains they haven't released, if you could put one in tomorrow, even if it's an update of one we've had, who who would you do? Who would you um, do? Exodus, uh, maybe um, because he's like Avengers and X Men type of sort of any. Um, um, I'm trying to think, try to go back through all the builder figures. Nemesis, which is Holocaust. Like I think he's be good he's toyetic as well, isn't he? So, yeah, I think someone someone in that sort of they've never done next to this, have they ever? No, never in yeah. Legends form. So, so that would be a great one. Yeah, so one of those, one of those. I think um, I always go for characters we've never had because if I at the if if Legends stopped after I made that decision. There is a builder figure out there of Nemesis, isn't there? Do you know, like, so I yeah. could at least have a representation of him on the shelf. So, yeah, let's go. Let's lean into something that we've never had and say Exodus. What about you? See, I would I would get a two pack. Okay. I would have a redo of the Absorbing Man because I think he deserves like an updated oh, figure. He does. he does, yeah. And then I would put Titania in there. Oh, okay. Because she, she's never had a Marvel, like, in her classic, like, ginger haired, purple costume, costume form. I mean, you've got that She Hell, Hell Princess, so that body exists now. Yeah. That she would be a great figure to get, and like Secret Wars anniversary ties into that massive She Hulk villain, massive Hulk villain, like two of them, amazing. I would, I would, and this is the year of the two packs, you know, with yeah. uh, a Wasp and Giant Man. If we're gonna do couples, do the villainous couple, Titania and Absorbing Man. That would be a great two pack. Yeah, no, I like it. I'm in. I'm in. Green light from me, uh, but I'm not on the Hasbro board, so unfortunately, oh, oh, it, means, it means absolutely nothing coming from me. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's move away from villains for a second and just go to some of these other characters on the leak list and see where we can associate them to. So there are a couple more retro carded rumors out there. One of them being Warbird, who we just mentioned, uh, which is the sort of. Uh, the One Piece, the black One Piece for Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers, uh, which we haven't had since an old free pack. And now, who was in that free pack? I can't remember. I brought mine. Um, oh, who did I buy it off? Was it Prime? I might shout out Prime if it was. I think I brought it off him. Off, uh, was it I'm... Iron Man and White Vision? I it could have been. That. It could have been. It Not could've... Iron Man, Hulk. Hulk and White Vision, maybe? Hulk and could've White Vision. Been. <laughs> Someone in the chat will help us out. When was the last time we got the black uh, costume version of uh, Carol Danvers? But. I think she is fair game for a re-release, especially with the new female bodies they're doing now, like so much better than anything we've got in the past. So just that character design on a new female body is a good enough upgrade for me, especially with the digital face printing tech on the head. Like they are getting really good. So uh, a couple of head sculpts, like Rich said, would have been a nice touch as well. Uh, but you'd be happy with, with to see that. Maybe Warbird, I'm oh. assuming on the, the grey Avengers card. Yeah, 100%. I mean, that is my favourite Carol Danvers 
story arc is when she's in the I love her in the black leather costume with the sash. I love her in the Avenger Coop Bizet X. Um Avengers run where he brings her back, like uses the Warboard name and then she becomes Miss Marvel again. Like that that's a great run. And it's a, like it's her second costume, I believe, or third costume, I believe, in the in the comic books. Like I said, I like that classic red one as well. But I think more people would like that classic Miss Marvel look. Because it says Warbird, there is an X-Men character, a member of the Shi'ar called Warbird, who was, I think, a member. Like she was like Kid Gladiator's Guardian, and then she joined the X-Men for a bit in the mid 2000s So I I don't think it's gonna be that, because that would just be way out there. But there is an, a second Warbird as well f- from the Shi'ar. So let me just throw up uh, Carol Danvers, a quick image I found from Google. Uh, where is she? This one will do just so people can see what we're talking about so there you go there you go warbird um carol danvers on a gray carded avengers card i think could be fair game here uh another one uh, that says potential re-release uh, on the gray avengers card because that's how they usually like to use those retro cards we don't we rarely get brand new characters on those retro cards right? coming on a spider-man card Dan. what you want about what you want about <laughs> look you never know you never know um <laughs> is there uh, quicksilver now, we got Quicksilver in the Family Matters free pack with his sister and daddy, uh, Magneto, uh, in the blue. And now, of course, we know Quicksilver's had the similar costume uh, throughout different teams. X-Factor, X-Men, all of that, brother, Evil Brotherhood of Mutants. But he wore the blue or the green. So the most easiest repaint in Marvel Legend history could simply be give us that Quicksilver in the green. So do we reckon that's what it's going to be? Are we going to get Quicksilver on a green uh, in the green on the grey Avengers retro card? It makes sense, right? Yeah, I hope so. That would be a good figure to get. I mean, hopefully with an updated body as well. I would like him with like yeah, an updated, pin, give us the pinless, pinless bodies, body. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But yeah, he'd be. I mean, it could be on the X Men card in his short lived X Factor outfit with the little X on him, but I, I don't think it will be there. Say that though, but you know what? Warbird would fit on the X Men card because obviously Rogue like takes her powers for years. That's how Rogue gets a thing, and then Carol becomes binary for a bit. So te- and Professor X has leaked as well. So maybe it could be a wave of retro X-Men. Okay, let me get let me get could Warbird. Be, let, me could try be. And, let me try and find an image of Warbird here because I'm looking at one I quickly found online. Um and is there any reuse potential here? Now let's go back. Is that the Warbird you're thinking of, right? Yeah, that's okay. the Warbird from the Jason Aaron run, I think it's Okay, from. so it's a it's a version of Warbird, the same character you're referencing, just maybe a slightly different costume to the original sort of uncanny X-Men run. So no, no, no. So in Kenny X-Men, I was on about Carol. So this oh. would be... This is a completely different character. She's a member of the Shi'ar, and she's sent to protect Gladiator's kid. Kid Gladiator joins uh, the Academy, the X-Men Academy in Wolverine and the X-Men from uh, Jason Aaron. And then Warbird comes with him, ends up joining the team, and then she ends up going on to the Astonishing X-Men team. Okay. When, like, Iceman Cecilia Reyes were part of the team as well. She, like, is part of that. Well, it's the, but... uh, it's the point I was going with is that she's Shia, right? And like She's Shia, yeah. And, and since we have been getting the uh, Uncanny X-Men free packs, we have been asking for more Shia characters and like we eventually did get Lelandra uh, yeah. and Dwight said we would be seeing more. So maybe these type of characters are on the table more so than we think. And like you said, another one of the rumors out there is uh, Professor Xavier on a retro card. Now they haven't reused the X-Men retro card too often considering they've sort of moved their attention to X-Men 97, rightly so. But it's still there. It's still in the library to be used whenever they need to. Uh, and ever since we've seen that Hank Pym in that West Coast Avengers box set, we all knew what was coming. We knew that Hank Pym, that tr- that jumpsuit was originally intended to be in green for Charles Xavier. Brandon works at Hasbro now, so you know he's fucking hammering that home. Like, every meeting is... is basically, do you know when you send an email and, and you've got a signature? I think Brandon's email signature is just that version of Professor X. So, like, every email he sends... Sam is Professor X, please. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, just getting it in their site, guys. Um, so, yeah, I do think Savage Land green jumpsuit Professor X uh, would also be on the retro card. So there's a couple of different characters. And again, gaps and upgrades that we sort of do need. I don't think any of them are a stretch. I would take a green version of Quicksilver. I would take an upgraded Warbird. As much as I take the piss out of Brandon, I would take a Savage Land Professor X. So, like, I'm not complaining. They're all characters I would like to add to the collection. Uh, shout out in the chat. They did correct us and say it was Captain America and Radioactive Man. Um, that, uh, oh, that that's the great... That's the green one. Ah, my, my eyes, the goggles do nothing. That's my, <laughs> one of my favourite Simpsons lines. Um, yeah, I did, I did eventually backtrack and get those figures for the shelf, but um, 
I do like that rate of translucent uh, radioactive man. So um, I'm conscious of time, but we can have a quick skim through some of these others here. And again, I'm just reading what's on Reddit. OK, so whether take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, we're just saying it for conversation's sake. We're Legends fans. OK, we, we both banned from Reddit, yeah, so it doesn't true. matter. It's true. Anyway. They did. They <laughs> fucking have banned me in all the Legends groups. Fucking... Can't, can't share the Dan Uli. Oh, so it's a Marvel <laughs> Legends group. Here's a Marvel Legends review for a brand new figure. No one else yet. Oh, banned. But, but... I'm the only one with this fucking figure. I'm trying to show you this in the right place. Oh, don't even get me started. Facebook's just as bad. This is why I stick to Instagram. Fuck yeah. you, Reddit. <laughs> Fuck you. This is why I stick to YouTube and Instagram because those other places are full of gatekeepers. Fuck them all. Right. Uh, right. Uh, what else is on this list? So there's a couple of deluxe figures that are rumoured. Man Thing, potential re-release of the Builder figure. Ooh. That, that would be a good one to get, to be fair. I would be up for that. Or, or an MCU man thing in black yeah, and white and colour. Both. You can get two for one, but eh? Two for a, one. I don't want a black and white one. Like, my whole MCU collection is in. I do. I want a black and white one, Dan. I mean, watch it in colour again. It's, no, it's I good. Haven't. I haven't. But, but my point is, my whole MCU collection is in colour. So I don't want a, just a random black and white man thing. Because that was just an artistic choice for the vision of the show it wasn't he's not actually black and white do you know what i mean like he's it's, that was just ha the lens that we viewed that episode that show on or that it was like film. a hammer horror tribute yeah wasn't it? exactly so, so it's it not like, like he isn't actually black and white so i don't want a black and white figure but i would take a mcu um man thing but saying that the builder figure is the 2017 netflix builder figure wave man thing which again goes for a pretty penny on the aftermarket all of those figures are very desirable so it's not the easiest figure to track down on the aftermarket so if it was just quite simply a builder figure re-release which we know legends like to do it would be one that makes sense and i think one that majority of the community would appreciate um so there's man thing the one that intrigues me the most on this list here and dan yoon has sort of planted a few seeds that could be tied to this he posted a picture of the recent iron man wave with an image of the tony stark standing with the two iron men and he said there is another image or an extended version or a variant version of this image that i can't wait to show off is it because we are getting a new comic hulk buster in 2024 for marvel legends well, it could be. Could be a Hulkbuster. I want it to be a Hulkbuster. Uh, big Iron Man guy, as you know. We've got a lot of Iron Man Marvel Legends now. I am waiting patiently to build a, a comic. There you go. Look, there's another one I can add to the Hall of Armor. I'm waiting patiently to build a comic Hall of Armor. I don't know where I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the foam out, get some paint out. I'm going to make it happen. Not everyone's got Disney stores, all right, Rectangular? I know, I know how you did it. Um, and, and Rush, I've seen you all. You, you, we ne that never came to us in the UK. Well, well, anyway, anyway, I digress. I would like an updated Hulkbuster in comic form, please. Would you buy one, Rich? No. Okay. Don't fine. really give a shit about Iron Man armor. All right. Well, I like the Hulkbuster armor, right? I I say, say that with that with that in my hand. But yeah. Oh, I love it. I love him. Really, he's my <laughs> favorite of all Marvel characters. I still think that should have been a little bit more silver. A little bit more silver. That's my mind's eye of that look is a bit silvery. He's a bit white. He's, per, he's more pearlescent, isn't he, than white? He's a bit. He's a bit pearlescent. Look, he's a bit pearlescent. I think he's a bit shiny in hand. You'll find out. Find out this weekend, Dan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, let's just skim through some of these others on this list real quick. So, Spider-Man is always very popular. Uh, we've got a couple of Venom. We've got a Venom anniversary. We've got a Venom deluxe set. Something that stands out is Superior Iron Man. Uh, Spider-Man. Sorry, I'll distracted with that superior, <laughs> superior <laughs> Sorry, you distract me i had iron man on the brain superior spider-man who is technically dr otto octavius's brain or consciousness in peter parker uh, and takes over the mantle for a little bit uh, and he gives himself these upgraded sort of they're not exactly the iron spider waldo things but they're basically the same principle uh we did get a superior iron man back in like 2014 in one of the maybe the amazing spider-man 2 wave that sort of ultimate green goblin wave so i'm talking way yeah. back you couldn't give that figure away back in the day by the way no that wave was terrible it went to discount <laughs> no people you'd have to pay people to take that wave off you and then as soon as no way home came out those figures shot up on the aftermarket probably the biggest margin jump in aftermarket marvel legends was that green goblin wave because it was at the bottom and then no way home shot it to the top but the superior spider-man was never done correctly the cost costume design was done but just not right it wasn't right it was a version but not the one people wanted so a deluxe version of superior spider-man with the actual legs we know they can do it now because we've got the iron spider legs so would they just do the hasbro thing and just reuse those molds they've already got for the iron spider and just put them to a superior spider-man is that what they're likely going to do here 
could be. It could that would be an easy way. Hopefully, they would give new like updated limbs at least, even if they yeah. used the torso bits. So we'll see. I, I know we never got the the wrist sort of gauntlets that he wore as well, which was a trait of the costume design. And I do think he had four legs, not the three, because it was still Octavius, wasn't it? So yeah. I mean, this is hard, but it's going to be. They re released that bloody uh, Civil War Spider Man, which doesn't even look like it's from the movie about a million times. Yeah. So there yeah. we go. That's yeah. what we so get him. See. Uh, Venom Hasbro. Pool. There's there's a Venom Pool. Build a figure that could get potential re-release again. It's something they've been doing, so it's likely. It is likely that was originally a monster in the Venom sort of white packaging, the same as the monster I, Venom. I got to be fair to one on this year with the re-releases of figures that they have been doing. It's all figures that on the aftermarket have gone exactly. up super prices, like that Kingpin today. Although not available in the UK uh, for some reason, what was on Scotty's store uh, sold out. Scotty sold out of it, but yeah, Hasbro UK didn't uh, bring it in for whatever reason. Who knows what. Um, but like those figures are good because at least it means like the prices then like people on even now will be knocking the prices off of their kingpins to like sell them, which I think is good for everyone. It's good that everyone can own everything. I know people like to look at their collections and see the value in their collection. Like it's definitely a, a, an aspect of the hobby for sure. But I do think if you are genuinely a fan of Marvel Legends, then you sh there's you should also see the positives of re-releases. They're not always just a, a stab in the back from Hasbro. Like ha, we're re-releasing this and devaluing the figure that you brought three years ago. It's not that's not how they see it. They see it as a way to give people the opportunity to get these desirable figures so they are still encouraged to collect and be like it makes the line stronger like as long yeah. as they are still giving us those characters like that we are missing but the the deeper we get with legends just think we're over 20 years in now the characters we're missing are those those more obscure characters that may not be in pop culture they may be familiar to comic book fans and readers but but to the general consumer then we're getting deep into the line you know so to make sure Hasbro can go deep and continue to fill all those gaps in our collection, they need to keep the line strong and make sure there's a consistent flow of popular characters and throw on the shaft. It's just it's just basic 101 logistics, people. Like, yeah, hopefully everyone has... Whether you agree with it or not, that's your opinion. Of course it is, but there is Who definitely... doesn't agree with them going deep and filling a hole, Dan? Who doesn't love that on the weekend? That's of like... Course. That's my Friday night, that is, Dan. Well, we know what you've been up to, all right? So... <laughs> So, but my, again, my point is, people are quite naive and just, they just everyone's very blinders on. Like, it's not what they want, so it's not good enough. It's like, think bigger picture, okay? I want Legends to continue and thrive. So, for that to happen, they occasionally they have to re release a popular figure like Deadpool or Iron Man or Spider Man or whatever it may be, right? It's just part of the game. Let, let it go, people. Let it go. It's toys, people. It's toys, all right? But I would like them to keep going and fill those gaps. Like, again, we talked about, what, the Inhumans earlier. Like, does every... If you go to a Marvel fan, just a casual Marvel fan, will they know who Crystal and Lockjaw are? Do you know what I mean? Like, we do. We think it's obvious. But if I asked Amanda who's Crystal and Lockjaw, I, don't even, I even took her to see the first two episodes of the... Of the it, uh, what's it? The Inhumans, the Inhumans in the, in the TV cinema. show. And she said, I'm never going to see it. That nearly ruined Marvel. For me, yeah? <laughs> she nearly never came to another MCU movie because of that <laughs> thing. So do you know what I mean? And like, so Amanda's watched two episodes of that where Lockjaw and Crystal were in it. But if I went and asked her... But she at least when Black Boat when Black Boat sold up in Multiverse of Madness, at least she knew who that was, didn't she? She was like, "Oh, thank God for that terrible thing that you took me to that." And if it, Tony starts not in, she's not watching at the minute, so she's not a fan <laughs> of the MCU right now. Um, but anyway, anyway, I digress. I digress. Let's. But uh, there are pro, there are definitely pros and cons to re-releases. Is all I'm saying. But if they are going to re-release it and market it as such, please make it available in all markets that you sell your product. How about that? That's probably a fairer criticism. And um, there are also Marvel fans in the UK that missed out on kingpin and those deadpool sets i'm just saying i'm just saying i th i feel personally attacked down because they wouldn't let me get my selfie series i know they won't <laughs> let me get my body type either it's just like they're just after oh. me they're like rich m um, no figures for you that look like you discrimination discrimination i have to buy another blob I now reckon, instead <laughs> i reckon you should cosplay as the kingpin on a future stream just to rub it and get yourself a cane uh, and all okay. you need is like a little suit or anything like that, right? It's been, it's been a while since I've done... I don't, no, I did do Jubilee. I did once yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it was like... I was like in mourning about oh, when Jubilee died. They had that yeah, veil yeah. on. It's been a while. Maybe maybe a cosplayer's yeah, do. Yeah. King, King, yeah, just send a message to Hasbro by being Kingpin. <laughs> I think it'll be good. <laughs> Um, again, just... I was Dwight. I was Dwight as well. Yeah, you were Dwight. Dwight. Yeah. That you was met Ryan one. as Dwight. That was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'm still not sure if Ryan found it hilarious or he was confused and scared. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I should have I should have got the dogs. That's why he's missing the like plush yeah. dogs. That's why he should have had. That's yeah, where he should have come from. <laughs> yeah, you should have carried some little plushy dogs. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> uh, just a few. There's on on this list. It says Strange Tales Wave. Do you reckon yeah. that's likely? Would you like something like that? Oh, that that would be that that would need a lot of scope for different figures. I think. That was where I think people thought like um, a giant man and wasp were going to be as well because they like uh, were in Strange Tales at the time. I I would love a Strange Tales wave. That would be a good way of like mystical characters yeah, and classic a lot characters of, you get on there. A lot of um, origins of um... <laughs> Dan Strange Tales waves going to have Shielk and Wolverine in there. We're going. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> like, it means Deadpool. nothing. These names mean nothing. It means nothing. These Strange names. Strange Tales wave. Here's the Deadpool everyone's been wanting. <laughs> Um, no, no, Strange Tales has like a lot of uh, OG, like, um, what's it? The Doctor Doctor Strange villains and stuff first appeared there. Like, um, yeah. So there are. But, uh, someone said Blackheart before. Blackheart would be a great figure to get as a builder figure in a Strange Tales wave. Yeah, we know they like. they we've, What's Dan Yoon was literally showing off this cable, which is from Capcom, uh, and wasn't in Cap the second game. It Blackheart was a character, right? Uh, Blackheart was in, yeah, Marvelous Capcom 2. This obviously was an official costume and he did wear it in the X-Men first. Yeah. It wasn't a costume uh, yeah, specifically yeah, for... Yeah, but obviously a lot of people will know it more from the... Yeah, yeah Marvel vs. Capcom. And hopefully we'll scale with the Jada toy figures. You can get your own crossover going. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, uh, again, like th again, there is some more Spider-Man stuff. There's a, there's a Red Hulk, the Spider-Verse dead uh, thunderbolts but we genuinely do think a lot of that has been moved around due to the scheduling of the films like it's just they're not going to release product for those films when they're not due to next year it's just not going to happen so I, yeah i think the only mcu film thing we get in this year is going to be the deadpool wave yeah and then maybe we'll get like a disney plus what if wave because we usually get one a year that i mean what if is still due out this year and make hopefully an x-men 97 wave three which Come is like now. just just killing it. It's, it's, it's honestly, I, I want more figures. I want more figures now. I want them now, Hasbro. I, I, um, I, yeah, I fingers the crossed. The popularity of that show is definitely encouraging them to continue to give look, us... Look, we uh, haven't got the best character yet. Like, Jubilee, Beast, like, come on now. Come on now. There's, again, Sunspot in, in different forms, whatever it needs to be. We've already, we've already done we've already done streams talking about what the potential of a wave free uh, X Men wave would look like. So go make sure if you are curious about these other topics and want us to have these same conversations, but about other themes please do go and check out the playlist they are in podcast format on the channel so you can listen to them audio only as well as the video so we literally i put it in the thumbnail i put it in the title what we are talking about and it's just a deep dive discussion and we've done it we've we've done it we did it with the iron man wave we were way off but we did it uh we did it with the x-men 97 very recently as well uh, and we do it occasionally for different we were topics. closer we were closer with x-men 97 we yeah we were bang Wolverine on. Wave, we were but we were bang on yeah, with that yeah, we were exactly. very good with that yeah yeah just that mandarin silo fucked us over but otherwise we were good um, we did put it in there we did put yeah, it in there but we, we just went with we the other one we went without we, back, i think we, yeah. we went with our heart we went with our heart rich rather than our brain on that one i think but my point is if you are watching these streams and enjoy these conversations go and check out the playlist people there are other ones and other shows which yeah we talk about the relevant news but again marvel we always talk about characters and stuff that needs to be made so go and check them out um but i think i know we were a little bit late today uh so i went a little bit longer but we still need to do the after show all right so let me go to the poll real quick and see what the chat think uh so the chat i've asked the question what do you think the marvel legends summer program uh, i should have said we billy but i never did but you know what i meant uh 45 43 percent for 85 years of marvel 28 percent for bring on the bad guys only five percent think it's going to be mcu related because again there's not a lot going on in the mcu right now again it could be an opportunity for them to backtrack like they have done in the past with the infinity saga etc uh you know we got the uh we got an infinity saga wave not too long ago where they were backtracking so maybe it is too soon for something similar like that and then 24 percent say it's another themed wave again it could just be another spider-man themed wave it could be a venom themed 10 sets because it's still anything within the spider verse would be fair game i guess there uh, it could be x-men like rich said uh, because then you've got she -Ark. that's how they could throw in some new mutants to celebrate that anniversary because last we there has been a couple of times where the summer program has included retro cards like that lizard from the spider-man uh sort of setup he was part of that 10 item summer program so 
maybe it could be X-Men related and we get a few random X-Men cards and that's where that Professor X is going to be. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, Rich, this is probably the last, this is the last time we're going to stream until Monday. So two questions. Do you think they are going to show the summer program like we're, again, just going based off what they did last year around about this time. They revealed all 10 items and then we, they spent time spreading out the pre-orders. So do you think that is what the stream is going to be about? And if it is, what is your final guess on this year's summer program? I do think they're going to show the summer program. I don't think it's going to be like last year and they're going to show all 10. I think they may show like half of it because mm -hmm. things seem to be running later this year. Everything seems to be coming a bit later. This stream is a month later than last year's stream <laughs> where they did the same. Yeah. So that evidence so, is already there. So I think maybe maybe they'll show half of it now. Again, because a lot of... I, I, with last year's one and the year before and the year before that, it's 10 items, but some are like store exclusives as well. So they may not reveal all those but i think at least half i would say i am going to go without any of this i'm going okay. with secret wars i'm going with secret wars because i think it covers a lot and i think secret wars as a name i think everyone's thinking of the classic kernel line but it was also used for like when they like rebooted the marvel universe yeah. a bit uh, with hickman yeah and and that with the battle words it covered so many different comic books as well that i think it could cover a lot of these different figures that have been like announced like in a secret wars just a generic secret wars line so i think i think that i think i'm going with secret wars i could be completely wrong but i'm yeah. going with secret wars and then i hope monday that they just reveal some more x-men 97 that honestly that's what i'm about with a minute i'm honestly all about x-men 97 or confirm just like if they for whatever because it's tied up with marvel Studios, just like they they yeah, did with confirm. the deadpool wave at the yes. when they did the iron man live where they said deadpool figures are coming if they just said x-men 97 we're three it's coming stay tuned it'll get everyone like oh we're three's coming people will people will run to the shelves to buy the crap figures that are on the shelves now no, waiting cause... for the best two the best two dan jubilee and beast of course they? of course they saved the best till last we get it we understand we understand but like try and backtrack now on wolverine and even cyclops is going getting harder to get so like the a-list characters and the, the show is definitely helping those figures not that they needed help to sell but i do think people's excitement for the show means they go oh I'm, i need those representations now so yeah hasbro for if you for whatever reason you legally for whatever because it's tied up with marvel studios and i know you have to release things a little bit differently when that's the case if for whatever reason you're not allowed to show maybe there's a character in wave three that hasn't been shown yet on the show we're we're only just gone past the halfway mark right so they're could still be yeah. a character in there that we haven't seen as a lot of the characters in the first two waves were like wait episodes one and two weren't they let's be honest oh what, what would be the great thing because i mean so we, we're like we're halfway through now there's like five episodes left to go yeah if maybe when we get to episode 10 there is a wave three and it goes straight into stock like that what the wasp and a giant man figure that would be amazing oh. people would be like yeah. oh i've seen it all i will definitely buy that jubilee and the other jubilee and that, the future jubilee and the alternate universe jubilee a jubilee wave that's what i want done the jubilee wave doesn't it but look that's marketing 101 there if they can make that happen but there's too many cogs behind the mach in the logistic machine that to make that happen but that's how it should be done but no i agree like they don't need to show anything if they're not allowed to they just need to give the community that um um, that confidence, that reassurance, that no, c commit to the line, invest in this line because a wave free is on the way and that will 100% encourage people to backtrack. I've already said, if they announce a wave free and it does have people like Beast in it, then I'm in. I let me go back and get those retro cards because forever and a day it will represent these 10 episodes on a Disney Plus show that, has, let's be honest, is sort of went past our expectations of what it was. We, we, we wanted that nostalgic, but it's actually a great show as well. This, this might be the first car back that completes those original nine characters because it's just Beast and Jubilee to go, really. Shout out, Jimmy Boy. A graphic is probably it's hard for me to find right now. I need to get it on there. But yeah, there's a graphic out there by Jimmy Boy who shows all the different, the eight core characters from the Jim Lee sort of X-Men era. And they've never been released in the same format in Marvel Legends. Never happened. Never happened. But they are close. They are two characters away. Two characters away from doing it. And it's Beast and Jubilee. It just happens to be mine and Rich's favourite. So that's that's what makes me think they've done this on purpose. That was right? that was our punishment yeah, that, for all the bad things being yeah, done. Maybe maybe we shouldn't have showed off that superior Iron Man. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> we're never getting Jubilee now, Dan. That's it. And also, this isn't available in the UK. But here I am, sat in the UK holding it. So like, we find we have our ways, Hasbro. Right? We have our ways. And um, people think people think we get them off Hasbro. I know. Like... <laughs> I know. Brandon doesn't tell us shits, by the way. Everybody, Hello. Brandon is a good guy. Uh, he does his oh. job well, and he. He keeps his mouth shut. He just said, he just, Brandon even gives us the corporate lines. He's our friend. And we go, Brandon, got any, got any Marvel Legend news for us? He'd be like, more to come, more to come. 
more to come. Like, I mean, he's nothing to us, Brandon. So uh, yeah, we, we we still like him, but uh, he he's not. We thought we planted a mole in the in the system, but it didn't work out that way. So didn't work out that way. Sad times, sad times. But uh, anyway, we're going to go off over to the bonus show. I'm going to end this poll now. The chat are going to say it's the 85 years of Marvel, but let's be honest, that just sort of encompasses everything and anything. Um, yeah, no. I wouldn't be mad with Secret Wars. Like, if it was Secret Wars, happy days. No complaints from me. Same with Bring on the Bad Guys, I think. I think that's fine with me. Uh, I do like a good villain, uh, especially if we're going to get some upgrades and gaps in the collection. Um, they're more appealing to me than the 85 years because the 85 years could be absolutely anything and we'll probably just get another Cap and another Iron Man. And I'm sure they'll be <laughs> fine figures, but you know what I mean? They're not the characters I need in the world I'm building right now. All right? I've got plenty of Cap to my man, so let's go Let's go in a different direction. So, yeah, Bad Guys, Secret Wars, something like that. Saying that, Secret Wars, what's in first wave? Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, <laughs> Black Suit Spider-Man, Wolverine. It's all the fucking A-list is it? So what the fuck am I talking about? Uh, if you want to continue this conversation with me and Rich right now, uh, then hopefully you've hit that join button. And if you have at the Who Crew Deluxe tier, you can come and join us on the after show right now. I apologise we're a little bit late today. Uh, so hopefully Rich can stay with us. Uh, but uh, yeah, due to the technical difficulties earlier, we're a little bit late, but we are still doing the after show. So if you are available right now and you want to be on the stream and talk with me and Rich, then it's channel members only. An extra half an hour content, talking toys. And you can tell us what you think going to be revealed on monday uh and uh yeah if you're right maybe i'll show you a clip on the on next week's show but um there you go so that's where we're going to go so hopefully uh this stream probably won't redirect you because i didn't set it up in time but go and find it it'll be on there if you're a channel member who grew the looks here i appreciate you hit me up on instagram at it's dan who uh or dan yeah it's dan who and i would uh send you the zoom link all right so you can start doing that now if you want to be on the after show hit me up on instagram send me a dm saying dan i would like to join the after show please and as long as you're a channel member at the who crew deluxe tier you are in it as simple as that so rich until we go over there where can the good people find you online so if there's a bar that says cocktails i'm probably there drinking the two for one but if not you can find me i displayed once on instagram Absolutely. And uh, we will be back next week. Rich, I haven't actually spoke to you about this. So let's do this. Uh, let's do a little uh, meeting right now. Monday night. The stream is Monday. Are you available Monday? I probably can swing it, I think, Dan. Yeah, I think I can swing it for an hour and a half. I will be yours, Dan. OK, I think I think. Yeah, even if we we'll figure out the logistics, but I think it makes sense to do a reaction stream uh on the on the monday uh when we can fit it in right so yeah, we, yeah. We, me, me and rich will figure that out our, on our end but yeah look out for monday night me and rich will of course be here to react and recap uh the reveals that happen on monday uh because yeah i'm assuming their reveals will finish at about five our time so we could go live as soon as when rich has had his dinner so yeah, we'll figure I, that out. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in work, so it's gonna be at least seven yeah, until I be available. It's yeah, fine. That's yeah. Fair yeah. Game. That's fair game. I wouldn't have streamed earlier than that anyway. That's fair game. The Americans will be working as well. It's early for them, remember. It's early for them. Right, okay, cool. We will see you next week then, people. You know what to do. Go and check out the playlist, all that good stuff. Come on, join us on the bonus show. No Legends and Liquor this weekend. So this is your opportunity to jump on and talk some toys. You know, I appreciate all the channel members. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I can't even speak. Now I can't even speak. Sorry for the technical difficulties at the start of the show. Thank you for everyone that stuck with us. If you do want to watch that extra half an hour where the stream messed up, I have put it for channel members only, all right? So you can enjoy me unboxing some uh, some symbol guys that's the that's the treat you get but we're out of here where's my end screen it's somewhere there it is there we go we're at the end of the show click that video and that one yeah that one uh that one's a pretty good one that one's the one i need the views on all right go and go and watch that one cheers the watch time much appreciated. word word of the day is lamp lamp yeah sorry amanda r.i.p amanda's lamp that i broke you can blame the